There has been a lot of back and forth between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump about whether or not they're going to debate. Kamala Harris said she's up for the challenge, and Donald Trump seems to be getting cold feet. But now, Kamala Harris has called Donald Trump's bluff with a brutal challenge. I'll tell you guys all about it coming right up. This weekend, Jason Miller, a senior advisor to Donald Trump, was on MSNBC, and he was asked point blank if Donald Trump would debate Kamala. Watch this. You have said or said in the past that Donald Trump would debate. Is that still good? Absolutely. We think that Democrats need to pick who their ultimate nominee is going to be. That needs to be formalized before we go and lock in all well, the Well, come on, you agreed to this before VP your nominee but, was formalized. But, now, that's a good point. Donald Trump agreed to two debates with Joe Biden before he had officially clinched the Republican Party's nomination. And now they're backing out of the second debate that was agreed upon because the Democrats have not formally nominated Kamala Harris. Well, Joe Biden hadn't been formally nominated back when they made that agreement either. So what changed? You can just see the excuses, but I love that Jason Miller's getting called out on it. Watch his response. But, uh, but hold on, but we need to make sure the Democrats actually go through and lock in Kamala Harris. It was only a month ago, Chris, that many Democrats who wanted to throw Joe Biden overboard were saying we need to go to this mini primary. We need to go with somebody else other than Kamala Harris. It's only been in this past week that there's been any sort of effort to rally around Kamala Harris. The exact same people, in fact, who were saying that Joe Biden was OK are the same people that are saying now we have to get behind Harris. But, but it was only in the last really week she had the number of delegates to secure the nomination. This is another great point. Kamala Harris was able to quickly get a number of delegates to commit to her to secure the Democratic Party's nomination. And nobody else has stepped forward to put their name into the race. So this idea that we were going to have an open primary at the convention and then allow the delegates to decide is all for naught because nobody is challenging Kamala Harris. The party has rallied behind her. But these Republicans are trying to play games here and say that the Democratic Party is being undemocratic. They're being outraged on our behalf, but it's not working. People aren't taking the bait. But hold on. 14 million Democrats voted for Joe Biden in this primary system. And now all of those votes, those voters are being so told, will, telling, will, uh, being will told Donald that Trump invalidated. debate Kamala Harris. Republicans think this is so cute to say that 14 million people voted in the Democratic Party's primaries and that our voice isn't being heard. Well, I was one of those people, and I'm sure many of you are as well, and we voted for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. And so Joe Biden has decided not to run, and therefore, I'm perfectly happy with Kamala Harris. So stop trying to be concerned on our behalf, Republicans. It's not working. Nobody's buying it. But the host is quick to try to pull Jason Miller back to the question at hand. Will Donald Trump debate Kamala Harris? Oh, of course we're going to debate the Democrat nominee if that's Kamala Harris. Once she goes through, that becomes formalized. I believe the date they're looking at is August 7th, then, of course. But, Chris, i got to go back to one thing you said for a moment when you're talking about the rate of inflation. Again, Republicans are fully aware that Kamala Harris has the necessary number of delegates pledged to her now that she will secure the nomination. There are not going to be any surprises. So why are they playing this game that we have to wait and see if she actually gets the nomination? All they're doing is stalling and they look like they're scared. It is embarrassing. I don't know why they're playing this game. Donald Trump himself said last week in a call with reporters that he was willing to debate Kamala Harris, though he sounds like he's trying to get out of ABC News hosting it for some odd reason. Well, I haven't agreed to anything. I agreed to a, a debate with Joe Biden, uh, but I want to debate her and she'll be no different because they have the same policies. Uh, I think debating is important for a presidential race. I really do. I think that you have to get you, you sort of have an obligation to debate if you're the candidate of the Republican Party. It is a two-party system. I mean, you can't, there's no such thing as three-party in the system. It's uh, just a two-party system, plain and simple. And it was designed that way, and that's the way it is. I have no clue why Donald Trump goes into some tangent about this being a two-party system. That has nothing to do with the question that he was asked by the reporter, which is, will you debate Kamala Harris? So you can see him trying to wiggle his way out of it by saying, I haven't committed to anything with her. I committed to Joe Biden. Well, what's the difference? Everybody is laughing at Donald Trump right now because he's scared of Kamala. And look how confident Kamala was when she spoke to reporters and said she's ready to debate Donald Trump. So many of you have been asking me about 
about the debate, and I'll tell you, I'm ready to debate Donald Trump. Um, I have agreed to the previously agreed upon September 10th debate. He agreed to that previously. Now it appears he's backpedaling, but I'm ready. And I think the voters deserve to see the split screen that exists in this race on a debate stage. And so I'm ready. Let's go. Will you do it on Fox News? And then when Trump started getting cold feet, Kamala posted the following on Twitter. What happened to any time, any place? And since Donald Trump's campaign hasn't changed their tune and continues to say we're not going to agree to a debate until the Democratic Party officially nominates somebody, just like you saw in that clip with Jason Miller, his senior advisor at the beginning of this video, Kamala Harris has decided to double down and is calling Donald Trump's bluff with a brutal challenge. They are now saying that they will be there on September 10th with ABC News for the already agreed upon debate. Check out this statement that Kamala's campaign sent to the Hill. As Vice President Harris said last week, the American people deserve to hear from the two candidates running for the highest office in the land, and she will do that at September's ABC debate. If Donald Trump and his team are saying anything other than, we'll see you there, and it appears that they are, it's a convenient but expected backtrack from Team Trump. Vice President Harris will be there on September 10th. We'll see if Trump shows. Donald Trump has given Kamala Harris such a gift to allow her to keep the energy of the last week going by not committing to the already agreed upon debate for September 10th. Donald Trump seems to think that if he can get a debate on Fox News or at least away from ABC News, for some reason, he'll have a better chance against Kamala Harris. But it just makes him look weak. I remember when Democratic Senate candidate John Ossoff had a debate scheduled with his Republican challenger Dave Perdue in Georgia. And Dave Perdue refused to show up to the debate. So the debate went on as planned on TV and there was an empty podium representing Dave Perdue. It was an amazing moment. Republican David Perdue has served in the U.S. Senate since 2015. Before his election, he sat on the board of five major corporations and co-founded Purdue Partners, a global trading company. Senator Perdue declined to participate in this debate and is represented by an empty podium. So it sounds like we might be heading towards a situation just like that, where Donald Trump doesn't show up to the debate and Kamala is there with an empty podium. How amazing of a moment would that be? And now it's time for you guys to speak up. Let me know in the comments, what do you think is gonna happen? Is Donald Trump gonna show up to the debate on September 10th on ABC News with Kamala Harris? Or will he continue to run scared and show everybody what a coward he is? I wanna hear what you guys think.